know these beats what an aftertaste kill the competition at a faster rate keep it real never had the normal rapper trait catch me going nuts got the planner's case i'm the present call me latter day watch the flow evaporate the ones that hello used youtube to asking to collaborate. so uh i've been looking around trying to find uh reviews on some some sound equipment products <clears throat> like microphones audio interfaces and uh, things of that nature and, and i couldn't really find any so um i just came back from guitar center where i basically made some well i wouldn't say impulse purchases because i i mean I, I was going all over the forums online gear sluts home recording.com websites like that trying to trying to find a <clears throat> something that would suit my needs and uh i came across this microphone is the Audio Technica AT 2035 large diaphragm cardoid condenser microphone, and uh, you know this, this had a lot of praise uh, all over the websites. I mean online, my bad. <clears throat> There's been a lot of praise of this microphone, so you know I thought I um, I should go get it and see see if it if it does what I need it to do. You know if 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 it makes professional sounding recordings and uh, stuff like that. So uh, today I'm I'm just gonna do a basic unboxing video of it. I'm not gonna get into any any deep detail about how it sounds, you know, because I I'm like y'all, I really don't know. And um, there was really no reviews online of the, the microphone, any good um, audio examples and things like that. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, show you well what's in the box, of course, <laughs> and. Uh, see what to expect if you were to buy this product and like I said uh, Guitar Center is where I bought it I'm not trying to promote them but it's a really good place to go buy your products if you want you can you can uh, you can test them out you know you can have people there show you let, let you hold it and uh, they actually uh, did uh, internet matches uh, this mic was going for 149.99 I think at, at Guitar Center right now and uh, on one of the one of the websites online uh, there it was selling for 110 <clears throat> So uh, they priced it. I mean, they matched it. I'm sorry. And uh, they actually they say they can either match it or, or beat it, and that's what they did. They they sold it to me for ninety eight dollars. So I ended up saving approximately fifty fifty two dollars, which for me I think that's a really really good deal. So if you want, you know, if, and if you don't want to wait for shipping and all that hassle, go to Guitar Center and uh, check everything out, see what you like, and uh, you know, get it all from there. <clears throat> But uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna start on this quick unboxing. I'm sorry, I'm doing this recording with one hand, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be opening everything up with the other. So if it gets a little shaky, no, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so let's get into it. Here it is, the Audio Technica AT2035 Cardoid Condenser Microphone, large diaphragm for smooth, neutral sound and low noise. And there's a picture of it. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, any specifications on the box. It includes the the microphone itself, uh, a shock mount. Um, I would I'm really uh, anxious to see what kind of material it's made out of, because a lot of them I've I've heard online that that they come really cheap. So uh, let's see how this one is. And it comes with a little pouch. Uh, let's see if there's any specs. No, just pictures. All right, well, uh, let's open it then. So you open up the box, and the first thing you're greeted to, a little foam, foam little plastic wrapping just to protect the the stuff that's inside. It comes with the little specification sheet uh, <clears throat> registration card uh, shows you how to dispose of your old electrical and electronic equipment and uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can read some of these things for you since I don't really know any of the specifications off the top of my head let me just take this out Okay, here we go. Um, see the specifications. Uh, <clears throat> this polar pattern is is cardoid, which means uh, it's only a one-sided mic. 
you know, a lot of them uh, have uh, pattern switches, which makes them omnidirectional, you know, eight figure. But this one is just one single side, which is the front side. That's the only side that'll pick up like the best, the best sound. The frequency response is 20 to 20,000 hertz, which should be <clears throat> you're more more than enough than what you need. Uh, it has a low frequency roll off of 80 hertz. Uh, noise is 12 de decibels, which it, which that means is the noise that that it puts out, like the the little uh, static noise that you hear uh, in a lot of recordings and a lot of uh, amateur recordings, the little. So 12, 12 decibels, from what I've heard, is is really good. It's it's supposed to be a really quiet mic. And uh, what I really what really drew me to this microphone is is the requirements for the phantom power. You know, a lot of microphones nowadays they they require 48 volts of phantom power, and uh, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people, uh, the some some mixers nowadays they don't they don't come with the full 48. Uh, they, the, some of them have 15, like uh, the Behringer 302 USB that I recently purchased. Uh, it turns out it had 15 volts. You know, I was thinking that it was 48, and uh, I was looking online through all the mics, and uh, it turns out this one is actually 11 to 52 volts. So, if if you you can't go out and buy an an audio f interface like like the one I bought, which is the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, which I'll be making an unboxing video of. Uh, you can you can buy like I said the the Behringer 302 USB. Uh, it's not it's not gonna give you the best sound, but uh, for for amateur recording it's just you do just just fine compared to you know a Radio Shack mic connected straight to the computer. And uh, that one has 15 volts, and this mic should definitely be powered by that. And uh, <clears throat> for the switches, it has a flat switch, a roll off, and then a 10 decibel pad. And uh, it's XLR, it's not USB. And accessories furnished is the shock mount, soft protective pouch, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, there's just more getting more into detail about the, the specifications. Uh, so let's put this down, see if there's anything for any of you that, that want to read it in Spanish. Pause it, <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. That's all it is right here. So uh, here's the the pouch I was talking to you about. It's a nice, nice leather pouch with lettering Audio Technica. Uh, I think this is where the shock mount is, if I'm not mistaken. And here it is. Uh, sorry about the the change of setting. Is I was recording it in my living room and you know had some family members walk in. So uh, like I was talking about the the shock mount. You know it's it's hard plastic. It's nothing nothing really fancy. I mean it's for what it's supposed to be for. You know it's should work perfectly. You just uh, screw it on the mic and you're good to go. And uh, now to the to the main attraction, uh, the microphone comes in a foam pad just to protect it. Let's take it out. And there it is, the AT2035 cardioid capacitor microphone by Audio Technica. And uh, you see the the low cut switches for flat and. Uh, right now it's on flat and then there's the low cut and then the pad you wouldn't really really use this pad uh, for for vocals you know this should be for uh, more drums you know if, if something's getting too loud you know you might want to use the the negative 10 decibel pad which will knock down some of the volume so it won't get distorted and uh, man this this thing feels it's nice and heavy you know that's not a bad thing because you know you'd ra I'd rather it be heavy and made out of metal something that you know that you can trust if, if something happens you know some some freak accident in the studio you drop it you know whatsoever it, if it it's built like a tank I mean literally it's I don't know if you can hear that there's no no loose 
nothing loose you know you don't hear anything it's solidly built and uh you said it's a condenser microphone as you can see the the microphone the tube and uh well here it is I mean this this thing looks sexy it looks sexy I'm not gonna lie it should make a great addition to the to the studio if and uh, hopefully it, it works as described you know by all the the online reviews and so on and uh like I said if I if I said at the beginning of the, the video this was just a quick unboxing just to show you uh, what's in the box you know what comes included things like that just to show you what it looks like and uh, I'm gonna use it for about uh, two or three weeks you know get everything working uh, get familiar with it and make make a couple songs with it and uh, and I'll, I'll get back to you guys I'll make a, a review a full-fledged review of, of the products and in then case in this case I mean the audio technica 2035 and I'll give y'all guys some some audio samples that, that I, I'll record with the the focus right scarlet 2i2 and uh, some some music that, that I'll I'll be making that I'll be mixing and mastering also and uh, yeah well here it is the Audio Technica 2035 unboxing video uh, thank you for watching uh, subscribe hit that button up there and uh, yeah more videos on the way and uh, also uh, an unboxing of the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 and unboxing of the Sennheiser HD 280 and uh, this is Official Strive that's my name and uh, Catch y'all guys later. Thank you very much. Brace. Shooting for the stars, now I'm taking Saturn's place. Uh, I'm coming up, you better make way. I'm throwing up the deuces like I'm trying to make weight. Now they're paying for their negligence and every day is payday. There is no use screaming Mayday. Cause